Hello and welcome. So, by popular demand, and when I say popular demand, more like the insistence of a handful of people, I am going to do a tour of my tiny little palette. So, I use this palette outdoors and I use it in combination with a sketchbook. Today I'm starting a new sketchbook and uh, whenever that happens, I like to swatch out the colors that uh, I'm going to be using in it. So this is a combination I have been using for almost a year now. I've been using it uh, for urban sketching and for nature journaling. And I can recommend it to anyone starting out with urban sketching, especially in uh, my part of the world in South Asia, without any hesitation whatsoever. The physical palette itself is nothing special. It is a generic palette, Chinese made. It has the tray which pops out and uh, two mixing areas. Enough if you're working with uh, paper which is not cotton and has decent sizing. Given its size, it fits in quite well in uh, any backpack. The first color we are going to be looking at is my warm yellow. I use a color called Permanent Yellow Deep from Mission Gold, pigment number PY65. You can get a more transparent version of PY65 as well, which would work a little bit better, but it didn't fit my budget, so I have stuck with this particular one. The next one is my cool yellow. I am using a color called Lemon by uh, White Knights. Pigment PY3. PY3 is a rather common pigment for uh, cool lemony yellows. This one too is uh, slightly on the opaque side. But in this particular case, I don't mind that. I actually like one of my yellows being a little opaque. Next is a earth yellow. I use a color called ochre light, again by White Knights. Pigment uh, PY43. This particular color is rather weak. Um, it gets over very fast, which I find rather irritating. I try to replace it, find a similar color from a different brand, but I wasn't able to find something that fit my budget. I am going to stick to this one also because I like its uh, semi-transparent nature. Not too many other ochre colors are semi-transparent. This one is a burnt sienna. I can classify it as my earth red. PBR7, which is uh, the pigment most often used for uh, Burnt Sienna and other brown colors as well. This one is by White Knights again. I like it because it has a slight bit of granulation to it. It is a semi-transparent pigment and is quite easy to lift as well. Next up is a color called Van Dyke Brown by Mission Gold. This one too is uh, pigment PBR7. Within my palette, I would classify it as a convenience color. I call it a convenience color because I could easily mix it using my burnt sienna. But I use this color very, very often. And that's why I would much rather have a ready version of it on my palette. This one's uh, more transparent than the burnt sienna. The dark on my palette is a Payne's Grey. 
like uh, most paints grades this one by white knights is also a mixed pigment it is made up of uh, pbk7 pb15 and pv23 i like having this color on my palette because i'm used to it uh, the first watercolor set which i was gifted had a paints gray and ever since i've always enjoyed using this color next one is my warm red it is a color called scarlet by white knights again pr188 when i first started using this color the opacity used to bother me slightly but not anymore i have now learned to use it it's a nice color to add at the end of the painting for uh, things like traffic signals and sometimes even faces kindly allow me a few seconds to talk about my offerings on uh, skillshare if you like my work and uh, want to learn how to paint like me click on the link in the description it will give you 1 month free access to the platform all right now back into the video next up is a quinacridone violet rose by white knights pv19 i don't use a lot of this color i definitely don't use it uh, without mixing it however i have found over time that uh, this color has become a irreplaceable part of my palette without it i would not be able to mix a purple on to our blues My first blue is a uh, ultramarine light PB29 by Mission Gold. Among all the ultramarines I have used so far, I have gravitated towards this one because it has just the right amount of granulation for my liking. Like all ultramarines, this one too is easy to lift. And when you mix it with the uh, burnt sienna, you can make a lovely neutral grey color next is the first of my two cool blues this one has a very funny back story it's a prussian blue by a indian brand called camlin i am not quite sure what uh, pigment number it is When I first started this palette I used to use only 11 colors and this was the last edition after a lot of permutation and combination it was just something I had lying around and uh, one fine day I just put it in my palette and it worked great The second of my two cool blues is a color called Cobalt Azure Blue, PB36 by White Knights. As with most cobalt colors, this one too has nice gentle granulation. I often use it when uh, painting in the sky. It is uh, semi-transparent, and uh, the pigment particles are quite heavy, so it doesn't. flow as much as the prussian which came before it the last pigment on my palette is a color simply called green it is by white knights pigment pg8 green can be classified as a convenience color as uh, greens can be mixed quite easily however i really like having this color on my palette because i enjoy working in uh, forested areas this green has proven ideal for a lot of indian vegetation my swatches are now dry 
we can take a closer look at uh, each one and see if there has been any wet to dry ship if you have any questions about my palette please do leave it in a comment below like and subscribe do all the youtube things i will see you in the next one thank you for joining me